spoiler warning. The following discussion will contain spoilers. We recommend checking out the movie first, then coming back to hang with us. But, if you don't care about that, glad to have you here. I don't even think you really know what a bad day is. But you're gonna find out. You hear me, miss? You're gonna fucking learn. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel, The Real Movie Guys. I'm John, one half of your Real Movie Guys. Today, I'm going to be doing a real review of Unhinged. After a confrontation with an unstable man at an intersection, a woman becomes the target of his rage. This movie starts off in a really weird way. It starts off with a man kind of sitting in his truck outside of some people's houses. You're not really sure what's going on or anything. And it seems like a strange start off, but then you watch him, he goes inside, he takes care of business, and then he ends up leaving, setting the house ablaze. Which I thought was a very interesting way to start off this movie, and it was like, okay, I can see how this guy seems a little unstable, but you really don't know, like, his backstory per se. A huge part that I really liked about this movie was I thought Russell Crowe does an excellent job of playing the guy in this movie. He's got that the intensity down he seems he's got the creepy factor down he does it very well i feel like his character is very believable and very scary at sometimes where like you can understand what's going on through his character just the way he's portraying this guy you can see this almost kind of playing out in like a real life scenario so before i get into everything else i would like just to say that the rest of the acting i felt like was average at best karen pistoris who plays rachel at times to me it felt like i didn't believe her or even that she cared about like her role in this sometimes it felt like she just didn't seem like it was as good of acting as what russell crowe was doing the kids in the movie i just felt like were kind of just placed in this movie just to help the story kind of go away like her brother and her sister-in-law living with her they were kind of just thrown in there for a little bit and it was almost like how we talk about with some of our horror movies when we say like they just had the person in there just for like a quick kill this kind of seemed like one of those parts where she was in there just for a quick kill starting off with this movie just in the beginning stages of when the Russell Crowe first meets Rachel, you can almost see this confrontation almost coming where, and you can almost picture yourself either in both person's shoes, where Rachel's in a rush to go somewhere. She's got to try to make it to, to drop her kid off on time. She's running behind because she slept in and she's stuck behind this truck who's at a red light and then turns green. She's just waiting. And then all of a sudden it starts to go almost to red. It goes to yellow. And this is when she slams on her horn, drives past him and kind of flips him the finger. So this is where the whole altercation starts. You can almost see when Russell Crow pro pulls up next to her. He tells the kid to roll down his window and he's kind of explaining it like almost like in a way you would explain this. How to have respectfully maybe done it in a different way. Which I think we all can understand in a way where you get agitated and sometimes you do things that you don't necessarily mean to do. But I think the one thing that you also see in this movie is it seems like all he's really looking for is her to apologize. And she's so stuck in her way of I didn't do anything wrong. My life is very important. You were just being annoying and being in the way. And I was just trying to get some where just like all these other cars you're just not as important as me that was like an interesting way to start and it was almost kind of like once it left you at that part you were kind of like i'm kind of interested in what's going to happen next and the whole movie is pretty much about if you think about how crazy someone could go over just a little thing like somebody honking their hornage and each thing that he does in this movie he takes it almost like to the next level where he's trying to hurt her in a way but not necessarily just go after her he's trying to take out the people that she loves first and then go after her at the end this movie has a lot of good things and some bad things not all the stuff that goes on in this movie is going to make 100% sense but I thought like the premise of of this whole story was interesting after watching this movie i started looking up can this really happen is road rage really that crazy do people actually really go off the ledge and the weird thing that i found out is it is true many times people will do things that are like all just because they're mad like people will run people over with their car people will get out with a bat break someone's window all because they honked at them for something so minute the negatives to this movie is i feel like at sometimes it was slow moving and at other times it was rushed if they would have picked less places I would say like less 
scenery maybe and stuff it would have worked out better which all in turn like you think about this how could someone really get away with all this i mean it is a movie and it's way overdone the one thing that i thought about this movie though the ending was just okay and average and it was almost kind of like one of those disney movie endings to a way where her brother who was lit on fire was saved her son was okay everybody seemed to like live almost except for the lawyer and the her brother's fiance but other than that it was like all like not a great ending my overall experience with this movie i feel like it was it's a decent movie i thought it was fun it was entertaining it kind of kept you on the edge of your seat at times and it kind of made you wonder like what was going to happen next with these characters so overall i'd give this a c plus you put him back on this goddamn phone you put him back on this goddamn phone no i can't do that why not well number one He's already dead. It's a decent movie, which also kept wondering what's going to happen. Focused. And each next scene was kind of entertaining. So, that's all I got for you. If you guys like what you've seen here today, consider giving this video a like and leaving your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to stay up to date with everything Real Movie Guys related, make sure to hit that subscribe button and check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And don't forget all you audio listeners at home, we are available on many podcasting platforms. Just search The Real Movie Guys, you should pop right up. Thank you again all so much for joining us on this episode of The Real Review. We are The Real Movie Guys. Real guys, real movies, real thoughts. Catch you next time.